Sometimes living on the land is boring and it's much more fun to live underwater. So today I'm going to show you how to do it. Don't you go anywhere. Good morning. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'm just underwater. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Amamans, in my oh look, I've got salmon in my building houses tutorials, houses around different biomes. That's what we're doing today. I've got a drowned in the background, but I don't care because I'm being creative and it ain't gonna hurt me. So what we're gonna do today is we are gonna build a house. Have you guessed? Yeah, we're gonna build a house on a mountain. No, we're not. We're going to build a house underwater. I've been challenged after my mountain house and my desert house, biomes that I've never really built in before, to try and do a house underwater, which I also haven't really done before. So this should be a laugh. We're going to do it completely freestyle. It'll be a proper giggle and I'm likely to mess it up. So you can basically chuckle along with me. And there's a few things that you need to do before you start building a house underwater. And that is this. So the first thing that I recommend you do is build a conduit, if you can. Now to do this, you'll need a heart of the sea and you need some prismarine. I'm not gonna do a tutorial on how to build a conduit. There are a bazillion of them out there and there is actually one from me as well. But you know, you've got little, your little conduit doodah there surrounded by prismarine. And that gives you the heart of the sea effect or the conduit effect. And um, that means that you can breathe underwater. Uh, so if I switch to, hang on, so if I go game mode, survival look that means look my bubbles aren't going down however i have got that doodah coming after me now but my bubbles aren't going down and i'm i'm perfectly happy and i can see so it's just game mode creative just to irritate him boom and all of a sudden he's not interested in me anymore go away horrible drown thing um but if you've not got the prismarine or you've not got the heart of the sea that's actually going to make it really tricky. Look, the heart of the sea's giving him damage. Yeah, that's right. That's right, pal. You're going to die because you're near my heart of the sea conduit doodah. Monster hunter because I hit him first. Right, so what you are going to want to do is you're going to want to get just a few little enchantments. So those enchantments are, let me get myself my anvil down there. So that's one, two, three, four, five get them out okay so pop up an anvil down and in here you want to enchant yourself some boots with depth strider 3 if you can that will help you move underwater much more nicely you can also on a helmet you can get respiration 3 now that won't allow you to breathe underwater forever but what it will allow you to do is it'll allow you to t last last much 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 longer under the water which is obviously a good thing and then aqua affinity and you can lob it on either one just lob it on your boots if you want and now that'll allow you to break blocks much much more easily under the water because breaking blocks underwater is a nightmare and then when you put those on let's just get rid of that when you put those on you'll find look so now i can move around under the water much more easily if i take the boots off even in creative moving around underwater is a lot harder so you are going to want to do that first definitely so the palette i think i'm going to use for this particular build includes uh white concrete quartz stairs and quartz slabs polished diorite yes you heard it right some stone bricks some stone brick stairs and some stone brick slabs believe it or not some water some dirt maybe sponges maybe sand depending on what way i want to drain it sea lanterns because we're under the sea right and then the stuff inside that we're going to decorate the old thing with so fairly standard some white glass panes we've got some light gray stained glass there we've got beds we've got anvils we've got boxes and chests and crafting tables and stuff like that i may use all of this stuff i may use some of it i may use other stuff i'll see as we go along so as I said, I am going to rather make this bit up as I go along, but obviously I'm not going to be able to do this in wood. Wood and water eventually don't mix. They mix to start with, but eventually wood becomes driftwood and it rots away under the water. So underwater wood is not where we're going. No matter how well you treat it with creosote, it just ain't going to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to put up some, um, I think we're going to put up some stilts. Now there is a reason for this madness and um, I shall come to it in a moment, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
and eight. And we're going to do three high, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There. And then we're going to do again. One, whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Right, so I want to build a little bit of height into this. And there is a reason for it. And that's because I want to get a moon pool. Now, if you don't know what a moon pool is, a moon pool is one of those holes in the floor that you go into in like little undersea stations where above the pool, it basically it looks like a little jacuzzi. When you get in the jacuzzi, the jacuzzi is very, very deep because it's the ocean. And I want to get a moon pool in the middle of this because I think it's going to be quite cool. And to have a moon pool, I need it too high so as I can actually get out. So there's like that. So I'm going to just build a floor, I think, with a two by two hole in the middle of it. Will it be a two by two hole? It won't be, will it be a three by three hole? Maybe it needs to be a one by one hole. Um, let's just build around. Three by three is too big. That's too big. Yeah, I don't like it. So maybe we just need to have, maybe it could be an off centre moon pool. It doesn't have to be in the middle. Uh, yeah, yeah, actually it does. <laughs> it does have to be in the middle. So there we go. So we've got a moon pool in the middle of that. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to just try and round this off just a smidgen because I don't want it square. So I'm just going to use a classic Minecraft circle, which is not remotely classic as you can probably imagine like that and one on this side as well so as we're going to just try and open it out a little bit more which makes that seven right one two three four five six seven yeah and then we'll put three on each side here which means two one two three coming around here one two whoops one two three and finally one two and three Right, so how does that look? It's not a circle. I know it's not a circle, but it's rounder. And what I want, oh, look, I've gone out of water. It's rounder. Um, and that's kind of the feel that I am looking for. And then when we come out here, I'm also on the center post here, I'm going to put another leg. Otherwise, I know the water will support it, but I just feel better about myself when we've got proper support for gravity. That's like that, and that's like that. Stone there and stone there. Okay, so now we're starting to get where I want to be. Oh, stop coming out of the water. It's not very deep, this water. So we need to be aware of that. We're not going to go too high. But that is, I think that's where I want to go from. One thing I probably should have mentioned, potions and night vision. So if you do stick your head above the water, you can still see what you're doing. That's something a conduit doesn't do. So obviously we've got that as well. So I think what I'm going to do with this one is experiment a little bit with white. And I'm going to pop white concrete on all the way around, literally a single line of white concrete all the way around this stone. Um, and it might be that I swap all of the stone out for white concrete. I'm not entirely sure yet. But what I do want to do is make sure that I've got a decent amount of white. Because I think under the water, it's going to have a relatively modern feel, isn't it, I think? So white works with modern. Work works really, really well with modern, in fact. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to make a dome per se, but I am going to do... I am going to do it so as it's not boxy. So we're going to come up in the middle three high of each of these. Like that. Oh, I've missed one. Well spotted there. And there, there, and there. And then what we're going to do is we're, we're just going to come in. And again, this is not a dome. So no comments that say, Avo, what are you talking about? That's not how you make a dome. Well, I know, because it's not a dome. But I don't want to come out above the water. That's the thing. So we're basically going to create a a stepping pattern using this white concrete up that far um, one more I think just one more 
every now and again just take a step back just to check you've not gone completely bonkers there and there then come in one like that and then what we can do is we can build sideways on each of those there, there, there and there and then we can put a diagonal block inside to kind of create that circle for so you can see it's not a dome but it's quite dome like and I think that's probably a good thing and then what we're also going to do is I think we're going to build out which side should we do it we're going to build out this way we're going to build a smaller platform I think so we're going to put a second platform that's not quite so big so this one's what it's got one two hang on let's do it again one two three four five that's six from the middle so it's a seven diameter we're going to have I'm just going to use concrete as or, or, no, I'm not going to use this as a spacer we're going to come out two then we're going to have another concrete and then we'll have maybe four then the middle three four and then oh that's not concrete and then that there so that will be our diameter so I'm just going to build up that circle now so we have got three little pods there and obviously we've got the conduit as well and we're going to make out of this nice little house I'm not quite sure how yet but we are and I'm going to use yet look polished diorite can you believe I've got a polished stone in my hand but I actually think it could work for this particular build um, it's not polished granite I wouldn't go anywhere near that that would be bad 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 but polished diorite might just work so what we're going to do is we're just going to build on the side here kind of a, a dome-esque this is not a dome it it's dome-esque though isn't it and we're gonna just make that side like that we're also going to come along and make this side the same so as we've got two opaque sides we're going to make this side also opaque and this one I'm going to miss out these like inner corners because it, they're going to throw off the shape a little bit uh, except we're not going to do that one take that one out um, there whoop, there miss those corners out there there and there and then we'll also have this one miss that one out and this one they will be diorite and then I'm going to get light grey stained glass I think because I think that will look the nicest and we're gonna basically gonna rip, rip, blah, 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 I can't even talk we're gonna replicate the polished diorite but in glass I think like that same on this side same on that side and the same on that as well so I'll be back when I've done that and we've got three kind of domey looking things, but they're not domes. They're not domes that we are going to just put a little bit of light into the ceiling of now. Just by putting one dot of a sea, had to be a sea lantern, didn't it really? Because we're in the sea. One dot of a sea lantern onto that. And then I'm going to get quartz slab. And I'm just going to place quartz slab over the top in like a cross pattern like that on all of them and this one also so I think that looks okay so but at the minute they're this they're just domes there's literally nothing to them so what we need to do is we need to create um, some door space and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use this space as a door um, it does mean that we're going to have to take out that and that, that and that, I think, as a door. That's going to need to come out, and that becomes our door area. Okay, that's good. That means we've got to repeat there, oh, there and there, there and there. 
great stuff. And then similarly, there and there, there and there, there and there. They need to become concrete. That comes out. That is like that. And we've got plenty of storage. Okay, I'm happy. This is all very, very nice now. So now, what are we going to use as a door? Are we actually going to have a door or are we going to create a channel here I wonder I think you know what I think I'm going to do I'm going to create a channel that is glass so people can see as they go from one channel to another there and they can taunt the drowns as they go so that's that one come up here we'll do this one as well this is slightly closer but that's fine I'm happy there and there come up and around there 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 and there all right so now we've got th basically three entirely linked up channels we're going to put quartz steps in under the two channel things there like that and we need to decide are we going to have an entrance other than the moon pool because the moon pool's great and all that we can just come up and get into the whole system by coming in through the moon pool and i like that but do we want an additional door i'm going to decide later because what we've got to do now unfortunately is we've got to drain it and in draining it this is going to take some time so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use uh wool blocks because well, because I can see them dead, dead easy. I did get some sand to drain, but I've decided I'm going to use wool. I'm not going to use sponges because you may not have sponges, but you could, of course, use a sponge. In fact, let me just demonstrate. If I get a sponge like that, and you can drain it dead easy using a sponge there and there like that. So, see there, you get quite a lot of drainage. And the water just flows in from the old there, doesn't it? So if I put a sponge there, and you can see we've got a completely drained portal bit here. But it does just run back. But if you haven't done a guardian farm, or if you've not raided a, an ocean monument, you're going to struggle um, with, with these, unfortunately, because they do, um, they, they do require going to kill a lot of guardians. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do it by filling it up with blocks. And in filling it up with blocks, that means you take out the water one level at a time. So you've got two options there of draining. You can either fill it up with something that's really easy to mine out, or if you'd prefer, you can use sponges. It's entirely up to you. So I'm just going to drain both of these that are left, and I'll be back when I am done. So we are completely drained. If I go from one to another to the other, you can see we've got no water left inside the house. And the moon pool doesn't flood in because, in fact, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to fill that there with water because it got sucked away. So let's just get rid of that. That can be um, a block of water as well because then we can get in and out dead easy. Look out of the system and back into the house like that dead easy but one thing that we have got is a lot of drippage so what I'm going to do is wherever there is drippage I'm going to pop a little slab of quartz I'm using quartz simply because it's very modern and it goes with the rest of the house but you don't have to use quartz obviously you don't have to use any of these materials that I'm using at the moment you could use inside you could use wood because inside is not a problem with wood is it so where have we got Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop on each of these, there and there, there, there and there, there, there and there. So we've still got a little bit of drippage coming through. Where's that drippage coming from? So we've got that drippage coming from here, so we can just fancy it up a little bit. these quartz slabs in 
So that should stop the dribbage from that side. And then we just need to do it on this side as well. Now. And there, there we go. So we should have no drips left. And we do not. It actually makes for quite a nice internal effect as well. I quite like it. We're going to do that for the other two pods and then I'll be back. So each of these pods has now been de-dripped except we've still got dripping coming from the door area and that's because the door on the smaller pods is still exposed. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up because the, you can see the door there is still an exposed block and as a result there is drippage coming through if we can see through the top there there's drippage going to be coming through that which is unacceptable so we're going to shove on all of the door blocks in fact I may do it just for consistency sake um, on in fact it won't won't be necessary because we've extended that so I might do it for consistency sake on all of the level there there and there and it'll also mean that we've got to do it around here as well. There and there. That's got one. It's obviously got a smaller one. Just consistency is key. There and there. Okay, so that domes things up a little bit. It does look like it's illuminated as well because the quartz is obviously slightly... I wonder if it would look rubbish if I did that. No, it wouldn't. I quite like it. I'm going to do that. I'm going to put wherever we've got that concrete, I'm going to shove a set of quartz steps on it. You'll still like that. That's perfecto. And then I'm also going to pop that there and that there. And that's going to give us a completed dome. Actually, that, no, not upside down. I keep calling it a dome. Should we just give in and call it a dome? I don't want to call it a dome, but it is a dome. So that, that there and there. Then that goes there. Shove that there. Bish, bash, and bosh. You know what? I actually quite like the ridgy feel that that gives it. So I am happy. And inside, we can just go back in again. Apparently it's quite dark inside because we've had a skelly spawn. So I need to do some lighting. I've not sorted out the lighting yet. Oh you, you shouldn't be in here. Where's my where's the big horrible sword that I can bash you with? Die. There we go. Right, so we clearly need to get some lighting into this puppy. And obviously, for lighting, we are going to use sea lanterns. So let's crack on with that. How are we going to light this fella up? I wonder. Now we've got a few options, um, but I quite like the idea of a suspended ceiling. Now if we're going to use suspended ceiling, I'm going to nick an idea from um, from Kylecraft in one of the recent builds that we did. Look, we've still got a little bit of drip there on there. I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. From Kylecraft on um, a build that he did where he used white stained glass panes, which looked absolutely brilliant so I'm going to do that as well except I've not picked that up white stained glass pane and what he did is he just had loose white stained glass pane uh, just hanging like that and it, it acts a bit like a fence would do if you had a suspended ceiling and there but it works rather well, doesn't it? It's all kind of dangly and modern and I like it a lot, you know, it's quite cool. Now what we do need to do is that we need to just complete those, otherwise they're going to be dangling out of nowhere and that won't do at all. But I think that looks cool. Very nice. I'm not going to put anything over it because I could put a trapdoor. Let's just see what it looked like with a trapdoor. Let's use a birch trapdoor. Now we could use a birch trapdoor if we wanted to, but actually I think I'm going to leave it for now. Maybe I'll change my mind in a bit, but I'm going to leave it for now. What we also need to do is light up in here. Now we can't dangle anything in quite the same way here because it is too low. And if we imagine if we dangled something there, then the, 
it, it just it would just be awful so we can't do that so what we're going to do here is we're going to put a sea lantern in the corners like that that will light that fella up and then we're going to come in here and we're going to do exactly the same a sea lantern in the corners like that and that gives stacks and stacks of light we're going to replace the middle block of the walkways in fact you know what i'm going to do i'm going to place all of the walkway with sea lantern it just it just looks quite cool i like it yeah okay so now we've got to decorate the interior of it so we're in the bedroom i put down a light blue carpet because it's under the sea and uh you need blue don't you i've also got a blue bed so it's all very blue with some diamond blue it's more like green in it armor but it's a nice comfortable little bedroom he's got his little thing there that he's going to pick up as he goes out if he wants to go bashing drowns and i think it looks okay and coming through his corridor he's got his living room and in here we have got the enchanting table obviously we cannot put carpet around these bits otherwise it will block the enchantability of the the books because if you put carpet here it blocks these bottom books and we can't be doing with that he's got a little kind of stand up drinking table that he can look out into the abyss with um the uh okay the floor is down there you can see out but that is to gather up water there is water source under there and there as well so if i do that you can see there's a water source there which means that that's an infinite water source you can take your water and you can make your potions and happy days storage and we've got uh, furnaces there somewhere to sit and look out into the abyss we've got our tools and our trap door if we want to go into the moon pool all we need to do is go down we can close the trap door if you want to we can go out into the water and when we want to come home we can open the trap door and we can come out like that perfect but the one thing he's not got is food so this is where we're going to do this one and this guy i've decided the person who lives in this place is a vegetarian so we're going to come into the center hole we're going to pop that there like that and we are then going to put that there that does not matter it is still a waterlogged block and as such if we put those there and hold them they become fertile enough for us to use i'm then going to put uh, all the way around here like this I'm going to hoe it like that and if you wanted to you could put more dirt in there I'm not going to but you can if you want I'm just going to plant up a few carrots 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 12 loads of carrots and then we can also pop in some storage chests for the carrots where should we put them should we put there that's cool so there you go you've got some some carrotage if you wanted it and you can eat there if you want you can make these things much bigger plenty of light and all you need really in your kind of self-contained little undersea home now i was going to do some decoration on the outside now you've got some challenges with decoration on the outside there's certain items that are not going to work Things that won't waterlog, for example, you can't put on there. You can't use buttons and things like that, obviously, because buttons will just wash off. So I thought, you know what, in the absence of things that I might ordinarily use, I'm going to leave them like that. And I think they're fairly decent looking pods anyway. So we've got what I reckon has turned out into an all right underwater home in a completely different style to that, which I would normally do. And there you have it. I think it went OK. A triple pod undersea house that actually has everything you need and it's uh, something i've never done before it's actually quite interesting to do it this way i quite enjoyed it the entrance being underneath completely safe from nasties and uh what a nice way to live i'm really happy with it if you've enjoyed this video please do remember to slap that like button it'd be great to know you're enjoying it and i will keep on making them also if you've not done it already please do hit that subscribe button it'd be great to see it in my sub club and i look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.